So I bought Battlefield Bad Company recently. I just wanted to try it out and see if it was worth playing because it was one of three Battlefield games that I haven't played or that I haven't played since it was released. And I've put a decent number of hours into every other Battlefield game in the franchise. So I really wanted to try this out and the campaign because everybody always said the campaign was way better than the multiplayer. And after playing it, I couldn't agree more. In all honesty, Bad Company is the exact opposite of Battlefield games in general. Usually Battlefield games are all about the multiplayer. On this game, the campaign, I'd say, was slightly above average, and the multiplayer was terrible. And it's not the graphics. I'm not one of those people that gives a shit about the graphics at all. The multiplayer is just poor. And there is a few annoying things in this multiplayer, like the dialogue where the guy is yelling sensor transmitting, the helicopter on the desert map, whoever got the chopper just destroyed the other team every single time. And you couldn't climb small hills at all. And there's just not enough players to even find more than one lobby anymore. I was actually surprised by that because everybody always talked about the Bad Company series. Sure, that was mostly Bad Company 2, but some people did like this game when it came out as well, to be fair. But man, seeing how bad this multiplayer is, this is a prime example of why Call of Duty was so popular when this game was released or around that time frame in general. There was nothing at that time to give Call of Duty... The, the good Call of Duty games, competition. World at War came out the same year and sold over 15 million units. Bad Company was released a few months before World at War, and it has sold a grand total of 2.59 million units to this day. That is a night and day comparison. Hell, it doesn't even compare to any of the Battlefield games either. When it comes to the gameplay or just having fun, I mean, I hate to put it down so much, but the previous Battlefield games that were released several years before this game came out beat this one. It's not even close. So, is this game worth 10 or $15? No. It's not even worth buying for even a dollar. Even if you think you would really enjoy the campaign like I did, I still would say it's not worth it. And think about this. Battlefield 1943, a classic game that has many similar problems, has more players than this game. On Bad Company, you would be lucky to find four or five other players in a single lobby. And literally, there will be no other lobbies going. Especially at night, there will be nobody playing. Battlefield players in general, 99% of them don't play the older Battlefield games. Sure, some will still play Battlefield 4 or Battlefield 1, but it's really not a loyal fan base. Sure, I am an original Battlefield player, and I like to go back and play some of the older Battlefield games, but the player base on a lot of those older games is almost non-existent now when it comes to Battlefield. Even Bad Company 2, I'm told. I wanted to buy that game and play it again, and a few people have told me that there's barely any players that even play it anymore. And that's a shame, because that game is still considered to be one of the best in the franchise. I don't know, I might just go ahead and buy it so I can play it again every once in a while, or so I can do a YouTube video on it. But yeah, it's beyond disappointing to hear that. I wish more people would play these older Battlefield games. The new ones just don't have the same vibe as some of the older ones. But anyways... Don't buy this particular game, not now or at any point in the future. A lot of the older games are better, but not this one. Like I said, Bad Company has no players on it. Maybe five or six total players at any point on Xbox, but that's really it. I'll keep you posted on Bad Company 2's player count in the comments or in the description of this video at some point. I'll probably post a link to a video in the comments section if I end up doing anything on that game again. But for now, thanks for checking out this video. I'll catch you later.